Thanksgiving weekend was half and half. We were over at Hillbilly Day Saturday. Great Saturday. Then yesterday was pretty much a washout. And today kind of it, half and it, half. It, we're back to the half and half <laughs> stuff. Some of us right now are beautiful and sunny, just like over at the Stonecrest Golf Course. And others seeing a little bit of rain. But that is a very picturesque shot over in Floyd County. Although, uh, have those umbrellas ready here in about two or three hours, friends, over in the Big Sandy. Rain is coming. Check it out on Pinpoint Doppler. Right now, the bulk of it back from Moorhead down towards Mount Vernon. Somerset, a few spotty showers popping up ahead of it near Jackson, uh, one round near Hazard, another near Pikeville. We'll take a little closer look, add in some temperatures in the satellite picture. You can see those clouds really beginning to thicken up over into the Cumberland Valley. Temperatures right now generally into the 60s, but where the rain is falling, we are now into the 50s, and that colder air will continue to drive east through the overnight. Little thunderstorm heading towards Vico, and that will move eastward. That's also extending back down to Harlan through the southern end of Leslie County. That will push over towards Whitesburg here in the next half hour to hour. Pikeville, a little rain south of town, right along 23. Elkhorn City, you have a shower on your doorstep, and a little rain moving from Phelps and Williamson over into West Virginia. Bottom line tonight, most of us will see a little bit of rain as this cold front pushes through the area. But the bulk of the strong, heavy rain and the severe weather off to our east on the east coast as this low pressure and cold front continues its trek off to the east. So tonight, have that umbrella out, especially over the next few hours. Once we get to 11 o'clock or so, we should transition to more lingering drizzle and light rain. Some very dense fog for your morning commute tomorrow. It will be on the thick side. So plan a few extra minutes to get where you're going. And then tomorrow afternoon, sunshine, but not quite as warm. Temperature is only topping out in the low to mid 60s. Here's a look at the surface map and you can see the spotty rain tonight. Most of the day tomorrow should be dry, but a late day shower can't be ruled out. That will carry us into Wednesday morning. Then another slight chance of rain on Thursday. Better chances of that down along the Tennessee border. Here's a quick look at future view for that high res up close look. And you can see we move most of the rain out of here tonight by around midnight. Tomorrow morning we have the dense fog and the temperatures into the 40s. And it's going to be even cooler than that later in the week, friends. 60s for highs tomorrow, but how about some lows in the 30s as we go towards the end of the week? A little bit of dogwood winter on our doorstep as that colder air moves in. And you can see just a few spotty shower chances on Wednesday and Thursday. But with those lows into the 30s, we'll have to watch out for a little bit of patchy frost possible down in the valleys. Friday should be pretty nice though. Sunny near 70, a chance of thunderstorms on Saturday and then another cool down for early next week. Don't go anywhere. More first and coming up right after this.